Well, Ian, it's a bit disappointing to come down here and not actually a victory, but I think we have to remember this is pre-season and you're up against a really good outfit. Yeah, they're a good side that they were. Uh, I, I didn't know, but I believe there's a, some sort of money chap behind them paying all sorts of money. So, no, listen, it's not, that's nothing to do with us, so good luck to them. But it was a good test for us. Uh, first half we struggled a bit, but we changed the shape a little bit. And uh, after that, for 20 minutes, we, they didn't really have a chance. And then we just get two daft goals. You know, it's meant we were chasing the game. The second half, we felt we totally dominated, even before they made their changes. I mean, it was always my intention to try and give 90 minutes to a lot of players today and play some younger ones tomorrow. Albeit, we're still, you know, we still had Peter Murphy on the bench and we still had Jamie Adams and Mikey Donald and, uh, Jay, and Ross Docherty to come in. And we know what it did show is, we know how short we are personnel wise, particularly in the top end of the field. Um, and, you know, we're working really hard to rectify that. You also talked about the fact that a strange goal at the beginning, the first one, down to this hurricane of a wind that you can probably hear on this oh, recording just now. It's unbelievable to play a pre-season game in July and it's like this, it was just horrendous. You know, I mean, I remember coming down here with Indian 80 to play Gretna in a Scottish Cup tie and it was the wind was four times as bad. I mean, it was a hurricane, 5-4, I think they won. So it wasn't great conditions, no. But you know what, I thought we got strong as the game went on and I was pleased... Uh, I was pleased with the fitness. We've just got to get sharp now, and but it, it's not rocket science. We know we're short of personnel just now. We're short of bodies. We still need a five, four, or five, six bodies in. But you know, that hopefully we'll be rectified in the next, certainly in the next month. But hopefully one or two more in by next Saturday. It was quite interesting to notice in the lineups today. They had a lot more players available to them. Yeah, they knew had a small bench. Yeah, and a lot more experience. You know, we, you know, boys we brought on there like. You know, McGuffey's 19, 20, Mick Warder's 20. An awful lot of young team. You know, we do we do need a little bit of experience. But as I say, you know, Murphy, Adams and Docker, they go straight into that team. It's all of a sudden it's a bit stronger. But we need to add some players, there's no doubt about it. So tomorrow, what can we expect? The under-20s again? Well, Are you going you to try... Is it, is it different if you'd won that one? Would it have been different? No, no. I mean, listen, you always want to win, but it's really, the bottom line is, it's not particularly important. Um, Jamie Adams, and Ross Dockery, Peter Murphy all got a game tomorrow. Mikey Donald. Uh, I've got, I think I've got Nicky Devlin and Forrest and Robbie coming back down, maybe for the bench, and, and the rest will be, you know, under twenties. I take it that Nicky was really, really annoyed quite a bit though about that. Uh, it wasn't a penalty. That, it wasn't. It just seemed to get the ball before. Yeah, he did. He got the ball. It wasn't a penalty. But you know that. Happened. Luckily, luckily, it's happened in a game like this. You know, it might happen next Saturday, which would have been worse. Thanks again. Cheers, guys.